Good morning, North. Today is Tuesday, October 7th. It's National Bathtub Day. I'm Austin. And I'm Ruby. Please rise respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey, Vikings. North is lucky. We were picked to be in the Healthy Community Study. Do you want to help our community? Do you want to help our country? Talk to your parents about being in the Healthy Community Study. Survey envelopes were handed out to students in PE or health this semester. If you are in the study, they will ask you about what you eat and physical activities you do. They will also measure your height and weight. Your family will get gifts to thank you for being in the study. Please take the form home with you and ask your parents to fill it out and sign it. Don't forget to turn these forms to, into your teacher by October 17th. When you turn in your signed form, you will receive a small gift from the study, whether your family wants to be in the study or not. North Junior High will join schools from around the world to celebrate an international walk to school day on Wednesday, October 8th, 2014. <laughs> Students are encouraged to walk or ride to school on this day. Walking to school is a great way to be a part of a global event and to promote health to identify safer routes for walking and to improve air quality. Walk to School Day events raise awareness of the need to create safer routes for walking and bicycling and emphasize the importance of issues such as increasing physical activity among children, pedestrian safety, traffic congestion, and concern for the environment. The events build connections between families, schools, and the broader community. Please join us on October 8th to walk or ride to school. Please watch the following video on bike safety and bike or walk to school tomorrow. Be alert, wear bright clothes and put on a helmet. Hi, I'm Rhonda Shaw with AAA and I have some of my young friends here with me today to talk about what it means to be a good role model. AAA and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration have partnered to help parents and adults put the brakes on child bike fatalities. Every day, an average of 140 bicyclists are injured or killed in traffic crashes. With helmet use among bicyclists between 20 and 25 percent, we have an opportunity to reduce injuries and deaths by encouraging more riders to protect themselves. Did you know that when worn properly, Helmets are up to 85% effective in protecting the head and brain in the event of a crash. AAA and NHTSA want to remind parents and caregivers to set positive examples that encourage children and teens to ride safely. According to NHTSA, among children, 10 to 14 year old boys have the highest rate of injuries and fatalities. Here are four easy steps to keep bicyclists of all ages safe. First, wear a properly fitted bicycle helmet. Wear your helmet properly, level on your head and low on your forehead, no more than two finger widths above your eyebrow. It might be a good idea to develop a family rule for helmet use and enforce it for every ride. Remember, it's never too late to start wearing a helmet. Second, always follow the rules of the road. Bikes are considered vehicles and must abide by the same traffic laws as motorists. Obey all traffic signs and signal your intention when turning or passing. Always ride in the same direction as traffic, keeping to the right. Next, make yourself visible. Wear bright colors during daylight hours and wear reflective material on clothing and equipment in low light conditions. Use white front lights, red rear reflectors, and reflective material on clothing and equipment when riding at night. And whenever possible, parents should discourage children from riding at night. And last, drive respectfully and share the road. Focus exclusively on the road while driving. Distracted drivers can be deadly for bicyclists. Be patient and pass bicyclists only when it's safe to do so, leaving a three to five foot clearance between your vehicle and the bike. Remember, be a good role model and help save a life. You can find more information on bike safety on sites such as sharetheroad.aaa.com and nitsa.gov. We will be starting Norse Robotic Club again. We will have our first meeting tomorrow after school 
at 235 in room D under the cafeteria where you can get information about the club and pick up an application. If you're interested in designing, building, and programming a robot on a team to compete in regional competitions, then this is the club for you. Remember to come to the meeting room in room D at 235. Hey Vikings, our fall pep assembly is this Thursday, which means that it's blue and white day. Wear your Viking colors to support all of our fall athletes. And now to Colin with the sports. Hey there Vikings, Colin here with all your Norse sports news. 7th grade tennis. Attention all you 7th grade tennis players. As you know, the blue squad of the Viking tennis team has an away match at Hillside on Wednesday. Blue squad players, after school tomorrow, get dressed quickly and meet Mr. Porter on the 7th grade side of the school by 345. The school will be open when we return at 530, so there's no need to bring your bulky backpacks or band instruments unless you plan on getting a ride home from your parents. White squad, we will have practice at Boise High on Wednesday with Coach Erlander. If you are unsure on which squad you belong to, 7th graders, please check the list that are posted outside of Mr. Hunt's door downstairs and Mr. Brown's door upstairs. If there's an issue with your placement, please see Mr. Porter at break. Go Blue Squad. Play North Tennis. Congratulations to Shane Brunelli, James Mishner, James Allen, Nathan Nash, Emma Donnelly, Chris Hale, Sylvia King, Marlene Lavoie, Dylan Renee, Alex Ludwigson, Finley Butler, Lucas Centeno, Ryan Sl Slater, Anna Gard, Claire Whitman, and Espen Nelson for an undefeated season that was capped off by bringing home the male team trophy and tying for first with the female team trophy and bringing it back to the best overall team trophy where it belongs. Go Vikings! Now back to Ruby and Austin. The first dance of the year is Thursday, October 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. The theme is future, dressed like you are from the future. Star Trek, Star Wars, robots, aliens, etc. No masks will be allowed. If you do not have a dance pass, the cost is $5 with your student ID card. Bring money for the photo booth and snacks. You must have a current student ID card to get into the dance on Thursday night. If you need a new card or do not get a permanent ID card, see Miss Beverage or Miss McCabe in the main office. There is a $5 charge to replace a lost ID card. Are you one of the 94 students currently in National Junior Honor Society? If you are, we will expect to see you for our first official meeting this Thursday during ninth grade lunch in the gym. The meeting will stop, start promptly at 12.30, so don't be late. And here's Brayden with the weather. What's up Vikings? Today is going to be 79 degrees and a 5 mile an hour wind speed. Tonight will be 53 degrees and a 5 mile an hour wind speed. Let's start with today in peace. Today in the classic line, we have a ham and cheese pull apart, a hamburger, and a chicken Caesar salad with a breadstick with baked wedges. In the specialty line, we have teriyaki chicken with rice and orange chicken with rice. Today's birthdays are Benjamin Woodall, Mackenzie Herbold, Celia Hosky, Caitlin McClurg, Avery Parks, Noah Lomas, and Hans Ehrlich. That's all your announcements for today, North. Have a great Tuesday. Nobody knows you, baby.